Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us for the Getting Together podcast. We are getting together today at the porch where uh, there are some delicious drinks and also this Cheers. wonderful fall foliage. That is this not is, fall. This is fall. That's desert fall, maybe. De- desert fall. Succulents. Can't you tell? Yes, our, de- our desert succulent fall succulents. Someone said we need fall decor, so we do. I'm going to work on that. Oh, okay. Yeah. But right? for, for today, we have your desert succulents because yes, we are we meeting at the porch here in Prescott, Arizona. Beautiful and Prescott, uh, Arizona. my name is Jeremy Brinkerhoff. I'm one of the hosts of the Getting Together podcast broadcast. And my co-host is Raylene Challoner. Hi. And our guest today is the one, the only Jess Savoini. <laughs> Thanks. There you go. Did we do okay on the last day? there? All right. You did so great. Oh, you good. You did like the Italian accent. I tried. I tried awesome. to throw it in there. I, I am Italian. So. Are you not? I How am. so? Mm-hmm. That's a why the bit. hands all the time. With all the, the time. Yeah, with the right. hands. So then what's your maiden name? Well, it was Ch- um, Chambers. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't sound There's very... There's a story. <laughs> okay. But we're not going to go into that. <laughs> not, not today, but no. we will get into that at some point. Maybe. At I don't some know. point. But thank you so much, Jess, for joining yeah, us today. Yes, we're really excited for... Me. for uh, very uh, just, happy to have you here. Just having you on mm-hmm. and, and what you are representing at this point with Dancing sure. for the Stars. We're going to get into that a little bit later. Yeah. But yeah. we also understand that you're a Prescott native. Yes. I am. I which, said earlier, that's really rare. It's like ivory. Yeah. It is. That is rarefied air. Whatever is rare, that's you. Because there's not a lot of you left. Or Apparently maybe there is. Not. I don't know. <laughs> and we're just overtaking the transplants. Yeah, maybe. How That's do you right. feel about that before we get into things? Are you all right with us? Oh, yeah. Okay. Totally. Thank you. I totally. appreciate that. Because yeah. we're not going anywhere. Changes. So thanks. Change is bound to happen. <laughs> it right. is. You've it seen is. a lot of it. <laughs> a lot. Okay, we want to know. So born and raised mm-hmm. here. Yep. Out on a ranch somewhere. Yeah, so I lived out on the Longmeadow Ranch. And 20, about 20 miles out, so I would catch oh the gosh. bus at like 6.45, yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. With so, like maybe 10 of us oh on it. Oh, my <laughs> I know. For those of us, of us in the area, Longmeadow is which way? Like out Williamson Valley? So northwest, or? yeah. So, okay. yeah, oh. out Williamson Valley next to... Um, a well-known ranch would be the Las Vegas Ranch, which is right okay. next door. Yeah. How did your parents end up here, though? So, my... So, okay. So... <laughs> The owner of uh, Las Vegas Ranch okay. was Delbert Pierce, okay. and he went to Mexico to Magdalena for, I guess, a hunting trip or something like that. And he met my grandpa, and he told my grandpa to come over and work for him. And yeah, so my grandpa came and worked for him and then brought my dad over. So my dad had been there on the Long Meadow um, since he was 11 years old. Oh. Up wow. until like a couple years ago, yeah. So when did your dad, did your dad or your grandpa purchase the the ranch? So we didn't own it, but my okay. dad did manage it okay. for wow. that many years. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. Incredible. With the so Putneys. Was that yeah. fun? It was so Growing much fun. There? Yeah. I never wore shoes. No. Um, <laughs> I swam. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah. yeah I swam yeah. in a cow pond. Yeah. With cow poop and sure. cow poles. And yeah. You didn't know any different. I never got sick. No. <laughs> oh, that's good. Wow. <laughs> Maybe that's why you're so so strong these days. Yes. Your immune yeah. system is taken care of. <laughs> totally. They're all good. Exactly. <laughs> How fun. How many of the your family are there? Like, siblings how many so siblings? i have one sibling and um roberto so he Great is name. a full-on um cowboy is okay. he really? so he's a horse trainer oh. and uh yeah it's it's he's he's oh ranchy gosh. that's so awesome <laughs> so, i love me a cowboy did you uh do you really i do i love he's cowboys i don't, sorry, I don't think, wranglers. You, I think yeah i think you love everybody well i do i love people. i think you love i mean yeah. i, I love like people. different groups like you, you know there's the, gotta be yeah i just love the whole thing about i don't know ranch life cowboy it's yeah. it's arizona it's it, so it is it cool. is very arizona yes. it's interesting so the other day i go on a bike ride i get a flat and i'm walking back and so it actually put me in that space of like noticing things for once because usually right. i just head down right and so we know uh, that about and you. i and i come through 
and it's right next to Lynx Creek. Mm. And there's like this guy, he looks just like your quintessential prospector. Oh I mean, the gosh. long white beard. <laughs> They're still he's out, out there. He's out there, you know? Yeah, they are. So two minutes later, I'm a little bit further down the road and I hear something and I look over <gasps> and there is a full on cowboy with his lariat lasso. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you can... yeah, lasso. Okay, lasso. Yeah. And there are cows that got loose and they're wandering oh, around yeah. this parking lot. And so here he is, <laughs> and I so mean, funny. like, it's it's like it's Arizona, just yeah, like man. two events back to back. And so it's so cool that like this this is not just a uh, a growing place, but right. there's like so much history, Still and there's so this really history. cool thing about like there are there are cowboys, not just yes. like I wear cowboy boots and a hat, no. like I ranch, I do things with yeah. my hands, yes. and I go out in the middle and I wrestle I rope cows, up. yeah, like, yeah. wrestle so, them up, so exactly. Cool. So, so your now brother do you, does that. Okay. Yeah, so, my brother. No, I was just gonna say. Maybe it was her got, brother. What could have been brother? <laughs> is he here? Is he in um, this area? He is in Prescott. Okay. Yeah. So he he horse trains for um, for Jamie, um, who oh. is also in dancing oh, yeah, for Jamie the stars. Yeah, Jamie Prescott. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then also just a uh, just a couple other people around in ranches oh, and stuff like word. that. Does so. he rodeo? He no? he team ropes, oh, so okay. he does. I guess you could say he kind of does rodeo, but it's mostly team roping. Oh, my son man. rodeos. Really? Yeah. Okay. How old is he? So my seven-year-old son is in junior rodeo. Oh my god! What does that look like? Oh, oh you're it's jumping so ahead. You're jumping wow. ahead. <laughs> no, she's still a kid. She's on the ranch. <laughs> she's swimming okay. in cow okay. poop. That's fine. That's fine. And then <laughs> what? And then what? Okay, so then, um, so it was great to live on the ranch and. Um, but as a 17, 18 year old, do you just want to yeah. leave Explore. the town? Yeah. And it was kind of, there wasn't as many resources as there is now. Right. Oh, yeah. Um, so as a teenager, I just wanted to get out, yeah. you know, and sure. um, especially living 20 miles out. I, my curfew was 1030 oh. and I would have to leave right. town by 10 <laughs> to, get, <laughs> to home. get home. And so um, that was kind of rough. Yeah. But then I moved to Tucson. I went to U of A okay. and I worked um, my way through college as well at a, at a place called Frog and Furkin. Uh-uh. And it was the best. No. Yeah. Frog and a firkin? Frog and firkin. <laughs> Frog and firkin. What, the what is, a, is a firkin? What is a firkin? A firkin is a pony keg. Um, yeah, it means pony keg. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. And, and the frog? It's what? just, I don't know okay. where they got the right. name. It's okay. just frog and So it was Perkins. a restaurant or bar? Yeah, it is a, a pub right okay. on the square of... Um, is of, it still there? I mean, yeah, it is. Oh, my gosh. It's still there, yeah. <laughs> Best right. pizza ever. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're going to have to try it out. <laughs> um, so I grew, I, you know, went to college and then... Um, what did I'm, you go to college for? What did you want to do? Political science. Oh, really? Really? In Spanish. So Spanish oh was really easy for me. So nice. my parents were really um, all about me getting my degree yeah. and so I was like what's the easiest degree I could get and so I did Spanish I totally clipped <laughs> out of it <laughs> and then I just worked and um uh, I made a lot of money at did the you? restaurant yeah you I mean students and, and you know wow. it was like a, it was awesome nice. <laughs> That's crazy so that was a lot of fun and then um I met my ex-husband mm-hmm. Brett Viber and he is a very, very talented chef. Ooh, okay. And uh, he, uh, him and I had two kids. Yes. And What are their names? So Miles and Mackenzie. Oh, Mackenzie t- okay. will be 10 and then Miles will be eight. Mm, yeah, great names. Yeah, yeah so um, yeah, amazing kids. And then he's super talented. Wow. He, uh, so he just wanted to pursue his career yeah. in Chicago. Oh, bless him. And we moved Burr. there for a year. Oh, and sister. Hated it. Yeah. <laughs> Milwaukee. Yeah. So I feel ya. <laughs> Everything was lake effect. Oh, and yeah. I hated it. So I was not happy there. Mm-hmm. So we are, we get along really well. We co-parent and um, it's just an amazing relationship. Good. And then I, I met my husband actually my current husband, yeah. my current, my second husband, because <laughs> I'm going to have it. more. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> um, I actually have known 
my husband's family for a long, long time because okay. they had the store. Yes. And then they had... Wait, you said yes like you know this. So, yeah, the Savalini, like, bridal... Yeah. Uh, tack? Tack and, tack yeah, and, tack and so, feet star. Oh, okay. It has, like, yeah. a horse on top. You can't miss oh, it. Oh, yes, yeah, yes. yeah. I know So, that. they've had it the for about 50 years, yeah. Oh, my word. Okay. And then, um, it's closed now, but... Okay. Um, but then also my, I guess you could call him my uncle-in-law, but Jim yep. Sabuini was, um, he started Prescott Animal Hospital. Oh, my word. Yeah. So gotcha. Deep we, roots yeah. in this town. Yeah. Yeah, they've, they've been here a long time. It's interesting. So time. we just had uh, dinner with Joe and... Oh, and Kim. Kim. Thank yeah. You. Sorry. What? Uh, yeah. Sorry, Kim. But uh, <laughs> so, yeah, Joe and Kim. And uh, and I said, okay, so Jess is going to be on the show. And he's like, oh, yeah, it's my uh, my sister-in-law. Like, oh, okay, nice. Because Savalini, it's, it's just a name here yeah. in Prescott. They've been here a long, long yeah. time. It's a well-established oh, family. And okay. So that's yeah, really cool. Yeah, related to it. Like, everybody. So Fanaras, um, that's a fun name. That's uh, yeah, we're related to them. Olsons, Olsons from Olsons okay. Grain. Fun. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Yeah, so really the good. ranchy, the the yeah, feed. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting this now. Yes, like animal. Yes. It is people. a community. Well, I mean, and, yeah. and look at so much right. of Prescott's history yeah. surrounds all of that, and so yeah, yeah those families yeah, are, are very connected. Yeah, wow. but that's really cool. How did you guys meet? So I'm sure we met at some point throughout our like early Just lifetime, but he is yeah. a little bit older than me, okay. uh, about 14 years older than me. So uh -huh. smart um, woman, very smart. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, yeah, he kind of calms me down. <laughs> we level each other out. Nice. <laughs> um, so we actually, I went to a gala. It was the um, Habitat for Humanity <laughs> Gala because he works for Habitat. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. It was fun and uh, just met him and yeah, we just kind of hit it off. And, wow. Yeah. How long have you guys been married? Four years. Okay, but you have three kids. Don't you have three? So I have my two older ones are from my ex-husband yes. and then um, and then Riggins is okay. from, yeah, from uh, Tommy. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. <laughs> and now you, okay, political science, you graduate. Did you ever use that? No. Okay. Oh, she says with Did the you plan frown. on using it? Should you have used no. it? I'm just saying. No, I don't think so. Maybe things could be different. A way to get out of Prescott for a little while. Yeah. I wish feet. I would have started real estate, actually, a lot sooner than oh, really? I, than I yeah. did. Yeah. Just because mm -hmm. I don't use my degree. Yeah. I mean, it's if I would have known. Now, um, I want my kids to go to school or do something. But. Yeah. If they want to go to a trade school, I'd be happy oh, yeah. with that. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. It's so sense. great. It's yes. so great. And yeah. Instead of dumping tons of money into oh, yeah. a degree that you're never going to use. Yes. No. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't use mine. Do you use your degree? No. I have a, <laughs> right? See? I have a degree in aeronautical science. I was oh supposed to be a pilot. Did and you so go to Emory like, Riddle? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gosh, and then, so like, I, I love it here. And yeah. And so I made a, a life, but there's not, you know, much there's in the yeah. education <laughs> field. Well, mine was in cross-cultural communication. And, yeah. No. Not really. I got yeah. <laughs> Communication, maybe. Yeah, I mean, Communication. that might go there somewhere. You get that. Across I don't know. You get there. But, <laughs> yeah, no. But you know, what did we know? We were what eighteen? Know. You don't know. But it's part I of that. Know. It's part of that growing up experience, oh, right? I love and it's, life. it's oh yeah, I loved I loved being college. I mean, I met my wife yeah. while going here, right. so. I don't use my degree, and fortunately, I didn't come out with a ton of debt either. Yeah, that's good. But, good. you know, I, I have my family here, and right. I met all the people that I just, I mean, I, I cannot discount the things that have come out of right. coming to college. Right. And so, and even though I don't it. use that, man, it's, it's obviously set me up for life. I think life yeah. is something that every kid needs to Should kind experience. of experience, yeah. and, you know, moving away from home. Yes. And, being super homesick yes. oh, yeah. and you really learn to appreciate but then, yeah you do what you have yep. and, yep. yeah. and the choices that your parents made for you and all those decisions exactly. and, yeah, and, and the people that, that you meet I think there's a lot oh, of that too so great. Yes. of the, of the different backgrounds and different lifestyles yeah. and the different things that, that you are, sure. become exposed to especially exactly. you know Prescott back in at the time you were telling us a little bit earlier yeah like you were you were one of very few minorities yeah in, in the town at the time yes. and so just being able to kind of expand that that realm of like this is what it, someone else's experience is like this is kind of what yep. mine is like and so yeah. being able to rub up against um others is, is just a great it's great so part great. of that college mm -hmm. experience yeah i actually was the first um kid to pass the bilingual test um for PUSD. oh wow <laughs> good for you, <laughs> you go. that's wow awesome. that yeah. is that's a claim to fame right there yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> it was in the newspaper. Oh, wow. <laughs> Did you cut it out? Is it framed? I'm sure my mom yes, has it somewhere. Totally. Mom awesome. <laughs> do, for sure. Absolutely. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> That's so good. Okay, so then you you go to college, you move back up here. So I met my ex husband, Brett, Did and Chicago he's a chef for a yeah. year. And then yep. you came back home? Yeah, I came that? back okay. home. And uh, did you go right then, into real estate? Yeah, you know what I did was um, I was looking for a job. And so I printed out like 50 resumes and yeah. I just went door knocking on. Yeah. And I Good had like you. a million <laughs> interviews. And then yeah. I chose Bloom Tree. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. And then I went to Bloom Tree and I did admin for them initially. Okay. And then I started to see like how I would be kind of good at it mm-hmm. and so I went to school for it and then yeah and so now I'm at Realty Executives okay. and with my best friend Aww. Kayla and she's Hi, like Kayla. amazing awesome. yeah <laughs> Kayla what's your last name Stazinski okay so okay. Another, big another big family in Prescott yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. we're somehow like related way okay. back I don't know how, yeah I just somehow I think she figured it out one time and we're like fourth <laughs> I don't know, great cousins or something like that. <laughs> Did you go to school with her? Um, no, you... she went to Chino and then I okay. went to Prescott. Yeah. Okay. And now our first episode, we had Jen James, um, Jen James. I'm Martin. totally blanking. Thank you. Yeah. Jen James Martin. Yes. Did you go to school with her? Cause, or she, I didn't age wise. I don't know. But I she, know. Went to Prescott she went to like too. 98, I think she said. Is that what she, she said? graduated in 98? I, I graduated in so. 02. Oh, okay. okay. So yeah. She's, yeah. Yeah. Cool. She's in there somewhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. So speaking, uh, oh, do we have additional questions? That <laughs> I you just, would like yeah, to I just ask? had one more. <laughs> so you said you went to school. Mm-hmm. So is it there's school for real estate? I thought it was just like study, study, take the test. And no, there's school for real estate. Oh, and okay. I think they offer the classes here now. But I went oh. to Phoenix. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. how long have you been doing it officially now? Selling Ooh. homes, buying. Almost eight years. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Almost eight years. Oh my gosh. And you yeah. still love it? I love it. It's and right now, you were saying earlier, we have very little inventory, but yes. a lot of buyers. A lot of buyers. It's kind of frustrating for yeah. my buyers and mm-hmm. especially buyers that have loans Yeah. Um, because we have a lot of cash buyers coming from different states yes. oh, yeah. states that shall not be named <laughs> states that we may or may not be from, be from. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. But we're not going to say that <clears throat> i'm no, from wisconsin bread and butter right now oh, absolutely. From wisconsin. absolutely no so it's kind of frustrating for some for some yeah. buyers because they get outbid by cash buyers but mm-hmm. but it is fun i love it i get to meet new people and oh, yeah. i've been blessed enough that most of my clients are friends oh, that's yeah nice. they turn into friends that's, really cool. that's good yeah, yeah i love that and i've actually heard that i have a couple of friends who sell real estate and they say the same thing yeah i love it yeah so it's it's i've never i guess you could say knock on wood but i've never had any um bad clients or bad oh, blood good. with any of that's them great. so yeah that's really good. yeah okay and now you can ask your question yes. <laughs> okay <laughs> yes. let's see how i can segue um <laughs> so we talked about all the different people that you can yes. meet and what a great place to meet new people yes. with different experiences right. uh, in Dancing for the Stars. <gasps> <Yeah>. as, <laughs> as, uh, as we've kind of looked through some of the profiles, man, there's there's a lot of diversity yeah, just even is. within that small dance team. Yeah. And, uh, so tell us a little bit of, of how you got involved with Dancing for the Stars sure. and uh, that kind of experience so far. Sure. So um, actually out of each paycheck or out of each commission that I get, mm. I always contribute to the Boys and Girls Club, a portion. Oh, that's awesome. Um, just... I, just, I, I really do think that you should choose one charity. Yeah. I don't really like to give you know, a little to each. I think that um, I would just like to focus on one and yeah. I just kind of did my research and I love Nicole. Yes. Her energy is just amazing. She's a good and friend. I love I that know. she's yeah. like young and yeah. innovative and mm-hmm. Dancing for the Stars is yeah. such a huge hit. And yes. Oh yeah. So fun. Um, it's so great. And mm-hmm. I love that. Um, I know that like a portion of my commission is going to stay here in yeah, Prescott that's or nice in too. Central Arizona. Deal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's totally local and I love it. Yeah. That's awesome. And I have a passion for kids. That's mm-hmm. my, I love kids. And yeah. so I, I think it's really important that we invest in our kids of us community. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. Growing up here, I think that 
we're kind of stuck in a bubble, mm -hmm. almost like, um, you know, Prescott is a Americana town, you know? Yes. Mm -hmm. But there's also a different side of it where there's kids that do come from single parent homes. Yes, or quite a few. Who yeah. need just a safe place to go to, yeah. you know? Yeah. And, um, I think the Boys and Girls Club provides that. Yeah, and they do. I think they just, have, like, everybody that works there, that volunteers, just has such a passion for yeah. it. They've so. upped their really game, good. too. They've got STEM programs. Yes. I mean, they just, I'm really. Yeah, it is it's so a cool. great, great foundation. Yeah, I love nonprofit. it. Mm -hmm. I love really it. That's really cool. Yeah, it seems like they really have good vision and they have yes. direction. And yeah. Nicole seems to really be at the, the forefront she's of like, keeping so them great. Like, I mean, way so ahead great. of the curve. Yeah, yeah I, love, really I love that she's young, you know, because uh, so much of the this community um, is retired yes. and um, yeah. it's just you know you need to have you need to go with like what's coming yes. up you know like oh, yeah. 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 yeah if we're gonna yeah. be able to, to stay with the times and if we're gonna exactly. be able to, to maintain as a as a town and as a right. city we're gonna have yep. to invest in the right. next generation so yeah, she does absolutely. a really good job of doing she that she does yes. yeah and how are you approached uh yes. to, to <laughs> we be like to hear these stories a celebrity <laughs> what's a celebrity rose? did you get a rose i did i got a rose yeah okay <laughs> it so. was funny because um she asked me to go grab a drink with her uh, or something see, happy hour the, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. of course i'm like realtor yes <laughs> 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 um so you know yeah we met at murphy's and i saw it Kelly um, McIntosh there, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, okay. I thought, well, Kelly and I are both realtors. So I was like, oh, she must be having a meeting with, with a client. So yeah. I sat at the bar and I texted Nicole and said, hey, I'm at the bar. And she like comes out of the booth and I was like, okay, weird. <laughs> um, and she's like, come sit down. And I'm like, okay. And I thought that maybe she was gonna ask me to work with Kelly to like help with, right. you know, something. with, yeah, with dancing. Cause yeah. I, I also went, I worked at Ritz Carlton in Tucson as an okay. event coordinator. So I thought like oh. maybe oh. like they just need my help or something. And yeah. I would totally do it. And then she like gives us a rose. Like, she's like, "Will you dance?" And I was like, "Yeah." And, oh my gosh! You but I had to make crazy. sure. I had to make sure when it was because I actually got drawn for elk. Um, and I was like, "Oh wait, if it's during my elk hunt, there's no way I can do it." This, so this is Prescott. This is Prescott. I was gonna say I have viewers like in Wisconsin. Well, Wisconsin, but you know, in the and city. And one in Japan. There's one in Japan. We have one in Japan. Yep. Oh, cool. Uh, yes, viewers in New Guinea, but. Um, um, so explain when you say I got drawn for elk. Okay. For so those who don't know what that means. Sometimes, I don't know if it's like this in Wisconsin, but in Arizona, you have to put in for deer and elk because it's like a lottery. To so shoot yes. them. To shoot them. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. With a so, gun, with not a gun. camera. With a gun okay. or archery <laughs> okay. or something. Yes. Um, so yeah, I got, it's my first elk hunt. So, and I knew my <laughs> husband was going to be like, uh, you can't do it if it's during your hunt. Right. So, oh, yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a thing. No. Yeah, it's thing. a total thing. Everything so, is and I got a good unit, I guess. And so, yeah. <gasps> do you go with him? Yeah, I'm going to go with oh, him. How fun. And when is that coming up? It's in November. So, okay. yeah. So, so you're good. I, I was good. Yeah, that's I just had awesome. to make yes. sure. I was like, oh, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can do For those of you it. who do hunt out there, what, what uh, unit are you in? Ten. Unit 10, 10, 10, yeah. Okay. okay. Do you yeah, know so what that means? Kind of it's somewhere out in Arizona. Okay. All up right. Up yeah. the rim? Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, kind of. So it's kind of a, a north of I-40 in Seligman area. Okay. Is that a good Bokeas. spot? Yeah. Okay. Apparently, awesome. yeah. And, and do you eat bull this? Or cow? Yes. Yes, a bull. Bull? Yeah. Okay. So it's like... And then you eat it. They're kind of majestic. They're I mean, gorgeous. it's going to be like my oh. first elk. And I mean... I've shot deer and uh, and okay. I, I mean you kind of get sad but you kind of don't All because I, think I of eat is it. My cousin Vinny. Did you ever see the movie? Oh no. And their little doe, she goes down to drink <laughs> and then boom, right between the eyes. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love best it. line ever. <laughs> Joe Pesci. That's not about Joe, Joe Pesci. Pesci. Yeah. Not about yeah. Joe Pesci. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so that's exciting. Yeah, yeah. So so dancing. Um, 
So then I found out she wouldn't tell us who, who our partner, partner was. Is. Oh my yeah. gosh. Oh, really? She, got a good she one. wouldn't. And so I was like, oh my gosh. Like, and she asked, like, what type of dance? I'm like, I don't really mm-hmm. know. Like, I don't dance. Like, yeah. well, besides, like, in college, I did a little bit. Little and line then, dancing, maybe? Yeah. I mean, and then just with my kids in the living room, and we have dance parties. <laughs> oh, right, so right. <laughs> that's all I do. I don't yeah, know how that carries us to the said, stage. I don't your know bio how... said with the mom. Yeah, like with yeah, the mom exactly. when I'm vacuuming. I don't know. That's when I, that's when I dance. But um, yeah, I got Ron, and I was so so happy. Yes, you have Ron Howard. We were making some jokes because he is not Ronnie Howard. Not no, Ronnie he's Howard. not the director. Not, not Opie. Not Opie. The dancer yeah. with um, MC Hammer. Yeah, he was with MC Hammer. Yeah, and is he still with MC Hammer? I think like, is, is that is I that a thing? Is MC Hammer done? Like, talks to MC Hammer. Okay, I, I don't know I how much that MC Hammer still doing. danced with him when he was in town. I think Nicole and a bunch oh, of the okay. girls went to see him dance. Yes. Okay. For MC Hammer. Yeah. Let's get MC Hammer on the show. I know. Well, seriously. <laughs> really? Are you sure? Have you seen him lately? Dude, it's MC Hammer. <laughs> I don't Hammer care lately, time. not lately. This is this is. I mean, that, he's an American legend. <laughs> he really is. Yeah. Yes, so. he had his own dance and everything, and he had his own pants. He did, and I had <laughs> some. Did have some. I had some MC Hammer They're pants. They're coming yes, back. I, I love. Them. I see a lot of moms. They're very comfortable. Oh very goodness. comfortable. That's so awesome. So, so Ron Howard. So, when was it revealed then to you who your yeah who your the partner day was? Of the reveal. Okay. okay so there's a. There's like a, a asking hours. thing, and it's then a there's thing. a reveal. Yeah, there's okay. a reveal party. Oh my goodness! And so I was like getting ready, and then Nicole call like Nicole calls me, and she's like, "Hey, do you want to find out who your dance partner is?" And I was like, "Yeah." Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, she told so me. So okay. we should we assume you're maybe gonna something in the hip hop genre? Yeah. Or, okay. I yeah, know we're it's not gonna be to hip hop. Totally However, <gasps> um, it's gonna be a little different. Okay. A little different than what Ron's done before Fun. so okay. did he do his own choreography yes. or he, okay. he's so talented he's good. He i mean just talented. so talented i love watching him just mm-hmm. i mean when actually i just knew i was in trouble when like he's like sitting there just like doing this thing and then he like look at me and smile and i'm oh, like yeah. oh my god no, don't, don't do that don't no. smile i'm like what, 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 i don't want to do he's it he's plotting he's scheming <laughs> yeah, there's I'm something like, up i don't want to do it <laughs> oh man that's incredible that's the cool thing about creative people yeah like you can just watch you can watch the wheels turn yes. and you just know that they're formulating this thing in their mind and yes. then but if you're about to get roped into that it is a little scary yeah it's a little, a little scary. intimidating but yeah. he's such a good teacher and good. uh he's patient and oh, that's yeah. awesome well we're we're coming up here October 2nd. Yes. Yeah. There's a matinee. There's an evening show. I think there's still tickets available. Yes, there is. So then go dancingforthestars.net, I mm-hmm. think it is. And, and then forward still- slash Jess. Oh. Forward slash <laughs> Jess. Right. That's right. You, you want to sponsor. You got yes. a sponsor. You actually yeah. have quite a few sponsorships you do. already. Yeah, like 15 sponsors. That's so great. Cool. It's yeah. really good. I love it. I love it. Yeah, because Brendan excellent. was here last week. Yeah. And I'm just saying, he's he's kind of competitive. He's very competitive. So, yeah, you got to bring I your game. I had a little snippet of Brandon's dance. And I was like, oh my gosh. So he's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he's I doing it's, really well. That's it's going to be awesome. really fun. That is going to be, be a awesome. Good night. I'm excited. And, and do you have a nemesis? Is there someone who you're ready to uh, to maybe take to the mat take on oh, this gosh, thing? No, I don't, I don't she's know. She's too nice. She's so sweet. That's but I don't true. know. She's got. I mean, I guess everybody. <laughs> she's married to an Italian. So. There you go. There, there's got to be in some there. sort it's of mob mentality in there. I'm assuming. <laughs> Quiet on the outside, oh, but inside, she's figuring out. She's turning. Who can I kneecap? Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> oh, I'm super excited for the event. Um, tell me just one thing, though. Why do you stay in Prescott? I mean, what is it about Prescott that you love? Um, I love that my kids are now going to the schools that I went to. Mm-hmm. I love that my kids' coaches are the people I call friends that yes. I went to school with, that is good. graduated with, and it's just so neat to, mm-hmm. uh, to have it seen full circle. Yeah, That's good. Yeah. That's Some of those known quantities, because I think it can be, like, I'm, I'm not from the area, and so when our kids have been in sports and I don't know the coach, yes. I don't know their temperament. Yeah. I'm not sure where they, you know, are my kids going to get yelled at? Right. Are they going to be like encouraged? And so Marissa, my wife grew up here. Yeah. And so she's like, Oh no, no, no. I know so-and-so he's totally right. cool. And yes, it does. It, it really helps to, nice. uh, to kind of, I mean, it does. It still yeah. has a small town mm-hmm. feel. Yeah, absolutely. And even though we're growing, there's still yeah. a lot of these connections oh, and these yeah. things that, that really make it feel like, 
a hometown. Right, right. Which is great. Yeah, yeah. it's so great. I want my coaches to yell at my kids. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else to yell at them? Yeah. You can yell at them this time. Exactly. Drive them a little bit. That's I right. think it teaches Challenge them good discipline. <laughs> nice. Nice. That is good. <laughs> That's oh good. man okay well is there anything else that we wanted to ask jess well i was uh curious too i'm under, i understand that there's actually a long commitment as far as mm-hmm. time is concerned for uh for <laughs> your dancing this yeah, isn't just yeah, something like you kind of get together and like okay we're putting on a benefit like no, you know, th- big this deal. is this is a real big deal. A so deal so how how many hours a week are you guys practicing and what kind of uh hmm. stuff are you looking at as as the show approaches sure so uh so we're practicing three days a week. Wow. Sometimes four hours at a time. <gasps> wow. Yeah. And he's a heart. So he's very strict. He's a and uh, yeah, like he's a legit professional. Yeah, he is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I was actually talking to Jamie Johnson, who danced with him, mm-hmm. I think the first one of the first years. And she like had asked me, like, how do you like it? it going? And she's like, Isn't he hard? And I was like, Yeah, yeah. he's very strict yeah. and but he's a pro and so yeah. I I absolutely that's what I mean that I think that's what you want, I yep. think, if you're doing this. How's then, your body yeah. feeling? Oh my gosh, my body at first was so sore. Yeah. Um, and you wouldn't even think that because oh, you're would. kind of moving a little <laughs> bit. I mean, oh, just man. a little bit at a time. It's not like yeah. your normal workout where you're like, go, 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 go for go. an hour and then and you're good right. and but no this is like yeah. yeah i was sore at first and now um yeah i'm like wow my legs are getting some definition yes. here <laughs> Sisters, <laughs> benefit. benefiting the boys and girls and yourself <laughs> yeah That's exactly <laughs> my husband's pretty happy i bet <laughs> Ooh, sister. Oh my goodness. Wearing those jeans. <laughs> and she's got some cute boots on. You can't see them. I'm so sorry. You cannot see the boots, but yeah. they're super cute. Take our word for it. Yeah. Take our word yeah. for it. Yeah. Um, well, Jess, thank you so much for, sure. for being here thank and for, for just sharing me. a little bit of your story. Yeah. And it is, it's always really cool to meet someone that has not only grown up in Prescott, but then has gone somewhere else and come back. And yeah. there is, there is a draw to there this place draw. and, uh, it and it's so worth great. it. It's, it's a, so it's a great, great place. It's a great place to raise kids. It's a great place to retire, obviously. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but, but thanks so much for being here. Thank, Thank you for you. what you're doing yeah. with Dancing for the Stars, but thanks. also for, uh, for just your dedication to the Boys and Girls Club yes. over the years. That's, That's so, really yeah. cool. I, really I did like want you philosophy. to mention your YouTube channel for oh, yeah. our viewers. Oh, yeah. So I do Growing Local. Growing Local. Oh, that's me. Cute. Okay. And then, um, so I just interview some of my favorite yeah. uh, local businesses and that's business great. owners. Yeah, Good. so I love it. Excellent. Yeah, so check yeah. that out too. Yeah, we'll make sure to uh, to put a link down below in the description. Great. But uh, mm-hmm. thank you everyone for watching. And we do record every Monday at the porch. So feel free to come on down, come grab on a down. coffee, take a look at what we're doing. And uh, we will post on Wednesdays. And we just uh, appreciate you guys so much subscribing, like our videos, yes. and just continue to listen and share, 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 share. share, 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 share. share. <laughs> and if you share? do, if you would love to be on the show, man, put something in the comments. And we'd love yes. to have you on to hear your story, to get together with us. Thanks so much for joining us.